Hey guys, Callie Fab here, and today I'm going to do my first sample project pan empties. So for this, I have been doing a sample product project pan. I posted my intro video in December, but I didn't have any empties to show you then. So from now on, I will be doing empties so that I can really explain to you what products I liked, which ones I didn't like, and which ones I might be purchasing or at least putting on my purchase list. This is also in collab with someone on Instagram. Her name is Stacy. She is amazing. We have actually become really good friends throughout this process and we text each other all the time. She is so fantastic. She does a lot of empties and reviews and stuff like that on her Instagram and she has given me a lot of tips for using things up and she's just a great person overall. I really love her Instagram feed. So I will leave her Instagram account linked below and also make sure when you check her out let her know that I sent you over so that you know we can all become friends and I'll have fun with this and if you wanted to join me on this sample project pan then just let me know down below in the comments and I will definitely um, give you a shout out in my next update empties video and that way we can kind of do this together and get all these sample products out so for this empties I only have eight products I know that's not as good as Stacy did on her Instagram, which I mean, she's just freaking awesome at getting empties out. But I have a ton of products that I've been using for weeks now that just don't want to end. And I'm very, very light on my skincare because I'm not sure how my skin will react to some of the skincare products. So I'll go into that when I get into those empties. But for now, I'm just going to go through what I have and let you know what everything costs and the breakdown and how much money I spent in samples. If I'm looking down, I have a little cheat sheet of my samples and how much they cost. So let's get right into it. So the first sample empty that I have for this project sample pan is the Belief True Cream Aqua Bomb. And this is only 10 milliliters, so it's a very small amount, but this is the best daytime moisturizer like ever, I think. I don't know, I keep coming back to this. First of all, it smells so clean and so fresh. It's very lightweight on the skin. It's got like an aqua blue type of color. I love this moisturizer. I've since already purchased a full-size bottle, uh, well, container, I guess, and I will be using that once I use up a little bit more of these um, skincare samples or if my skin starts to freak out and break out like it did recently, that's why I have this empty. I go back to this and my skin just like clears up and just completely levels out and I love it. So based on the breakdown of all of the full size products, I just broke them down by either milliliters or ounces, just whatever they had listed online and then I broke down the price. So this is all based on the full size price that I broke down into this many ounces or milliliters. This is 10 milliliters and if you were to purchase this separately, it would cost $7.60. So I think that is the best $7.60 ever. Like, yeah, and I've since already purchased the full size, so obviously I would recommend this to everybody and anybody. Oily skin, combo skin, dry skin. I can use this during any season and it works great. So I, that was like a long spiel about this one product, but it's the best. Just saying. So the next item I used up was actually a hair care sample, and it was a AG Hair Care Sterling Silver Shampoo and Conditioner. This is a toning shampoo and it's for color care. So technically, you guys know I don't color my hair. My hair falls out when I color it. So technically I should not have used this in my hair. It was a purple shampoo, so it's actually supposed to be used to take the brassiness out of like blonde, color treated blonde hair. So I'm kind of like, I think it actually brightened my hair a little bit, <laughs> which it was only one use for the shampoo and conditioner and I used it today actually. And I really did enjoy it. The smell was a little bit like different, but I didn't hate it. And it was definitely a purple toning shampoo. Um, would I recommend it? I don't know. It was only one use, so I really don't know. But my hair does feel pretty soft today. I mean, not overly soft, but I mean, it feels good today. It was only one use, like I said, so I don't really have a full opinion on it. But this, if you were to buy this sample size individually, it would cost $1 for this shampoo and conditioner. My next product I have is something that I finished 
way early on in this project and it is the too cool for school egg mellow cream all in one and i really really liked this so the smell is very strange on this it's weird that i feel like they actually use like egg yolk in this which kind of creeps me out to be totally honest i use this for about one month i just have a 1m on here showing that i used it for about a full month and I used this as my nighttime moisturizer and it was actually really, really good. Would I repurchase this? I don't know, just because the egg part of it kind of creeps me out, like I said. Um, but I really did like it. So, and it worked great for a nighttime moisturizer. I probably would repurchase this if I found it on a really good sale or if it came in like one of those sample bags where I got another big, like, or good size sample of it, I would probably purchase it. Um, but I'm not like running out to buy this, if that makes sense. I have a lot of moisturizers that I really like, and this one, it, it was good. It was really good. I mean, I liked it. So if you were to purchase this little sample size, this is 0.21 ounces. Um, it would cost $4.30 for this. So I think that was a great $4.30 used up, and I am happy to get this out of my collection. The next sample pack that I have is another hair care sample. It was a shampoo and conditioner, once again. It's from Hask, and it's the Kalahari Melon Oil Shields and Replenishes, free from sulfates and parabens. It is a color protection shampoo and conditioner. Um, these were only 0.35 fluid ounces, so it was just barely enough for a full shampoo and conditioner, even on my short hair. I have thicker hair though, so it was kind of hard to get it everywhere. I do remember like kind of enjoying the weird scent. It's a very strange scent. I don't even know how to describe it, but I kind of enjoyed it in a weird way. Yeah, I mean, I'm not running out to purchase this, but I think you can get it at like Walmart or Target if you guys are interested. I'm not gonna buy this at all because it's for color protection and I don't color my hair once again because I obviously don't know how to read hair care samples until I'm filming so clearly I have issues but nonetheless if you were to purchase this shampoo and conditioner in the sample pack it would cost 40 cents so I'm just happy to get it out of my little sample bag that I'm trying to use up the next sample I have is another hair care sample. It was actually a mask. So it is from OMG. It is the three in one kit hair repair system. And basically you have your first step, which is a shampoo. So you put that in, scrub it all out, or scrub it all over, lather it up, and then you rinse it out and you squeeze out all the extra water. And then step two was a recovery protein treatment. So this one I put in my hair and I really massaged it in and got it all through the ends of my hair and everything. And then finally you put this mask on and the mask had like a weird like oily base substance inside of it. It's called the self-warming collagen and keratin infused mask cap. So first of all, it was not self-warming at all it was actually cold on my head like for some reason when the conditioner and the mask oil mixed it was freezing on my head and i was in like a hot hot bath doing this so i could make sure i let it sit in for the amount of time it wants you to leave it in for 10 minutes and i left it in for probably about 12 just because i wanted to get my full bath in and yeah i mean it was I, I wouldn't purchase this again. It was uncomfortable having that mask thing in my hair and then it was gross squeezing it out to put it in the garbage when I was done. Yeah, I wouldn't repurchase this. Maybe if you did this like once a week, it would help over time, but this is an $8 sample. So would I purchase this for $8 again? No freaking way. And I don't even know where I got this. I probably got it in like an Ipsy bag or something, but yeah, I wouldn't repurchase this. It was not worth it, in my opinion. The next sample that I used up is from Village Naturals, and it's the Aches and Pains Muscle Relief Concentrated Mineral Bath Soak. And this scent was eucalyptus, spearmint, spearmint, and menthol. And I hated the menthol scent in it. It was terrible. The spearmint was a little bit weird, but I could, you could definitely smell all three scents. It was... It was a little weird that you could smell them all individually. I loved the eucalyptus. The eucalyptus was like the after scent that you got. Then the spearmint was like while you're in the bath and the menthol was like as you were putting it in the bath. I don't know, it was not my favorite bath soak. I actually got two uses out of this, so I thought that that was 
really, really a good sample size. And if you were to purchase this individually, just this little sample packet, it would be 28 cents. So 14 cents per bath was actually a really good deal in my opinion, but I would not purchase the same scent again. It really, I didn't like it at all. Did it help my muscle aches and pains? I don't think so. I mean, I've been going to the gym a lot and I really didn't feel like it did anything special. If it had a different scent, I would probably purchase this because I do know that these are very affordable. Now, one product that I absolutely loved, and I mean, it was probably, besides the moisturizer from Belief, it was my favorite sample that I tried in this little stent of samples, and it was the Labotica honey skin soft mask and it's got honey sugar maple and chamomile and it's natural mild and glossy it's from leaders and i loved this mask like it was amazing how soft it left my skin so my skin has been extremely extremely dry and i mean like not even fair how dry it's been this winter especially with the hot cold hot cold here in michigan it's been terrible. My skin does not know what's going on. Nonetheless, I put this on a couple, like quite a few nights ago, and my skin was soft for like three days. I swear. Like I took a shower at night and then I was kind of having like a lazy night. So I laid down in bed and I left this on for 20 full minutes, a full 20 minutes. It says that you can leave it on for 10 to 20 minutes. So I left it on for the full 20 and my skin was soft for three days, three days. That never ever happens it wasn't moisturized for three days it was soft like baby bottom soft it was so nice i would purchase this in a second this one mask cost four dollars though which in the realm of masks i guess that's not that expensive and it works for three days so when I think about it, it's really not bad. I have a ton of other masks I need to use up before I purchase this, but this is on my list to purchase again once I'm out of all my skincare masks. I loved this. This was fantastic. You guys have to try this one. If you are like me and you have dry skin that's, you know, just cracking and just like scraping off, that's, oh, the winter hates it. Try this mask. It is so good. So good. It's only $4. Seriously, pick it up, it's good. The very last sample that I used up is another face mask. So this one is by Mask Bar and it's the Hydrating Peel Off Mask. It says it revitalizes, rejuvenates, and hydrates and it contains cucumber extract, red ginseng root extract, and jasmine extract. So this was like a jelly substance that you put on your skin and you peel away when it's dry. I've been learning as I've been doing the sample pan and as I've been doing my other pans and just trying to use up my products in general, I don't like peel off masks. They hurt my skin, especially during these winter months when my skin is so sensitive anyways. Oh my God, it was so terrible. I used this two times, I got two uses out of it and this one mask cost $3.49. So, you know, 350, so half of 350, so 175 for each use. But it hurt my skin so bad <laughs> when I used it. The first time I used it, it wasn't bad, but the second time, I think my skin was so dry that when I peeled it off, like I started tearing because it hurt so bad to peel off. So, I think I'm going to leave all the rest of my my peel off masks for the summertime and not use any more for the winter. So I don't have a fair judgment on this, I think. I think I don't have a fair judgment. It worked well. I mean, it definitely pulled off, you know, gunkies out of my nose and stuff, but it hurts so bad. I just, I can't repurchase this right now. So in total for this first update in January, I have eight samples that I completely finished up and the total for all of those samples was $29.07. That feels really good. Like, <laughs> is that ridiculous that I feel good about like using up money? Because it's money that's already spent, it's already gone, it's not coming back. So I might as well use these sample products before they go bad. And that's 
what I've been saying to myself, I need to stop purchasing more new stuff when I have tons of older things that need to get used up before they go bad, before the cream products get mold on them, before the powder products break apart. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this first update for my sample project pan. I'm going to try to get these going a little bit faster so they'll be quicker videos, but I plan to do updates like twice a month. I'm hoping like once in the middle of the month and then once at the end of the month so that you guys can have like a quick little blurb and review on each little sample that I'm using and then I plan to add up all of my totals for the end of the year to tell you guys how much I used up in total of samples. I'm so excited for that number because I feel like it's going to be a good number. So I'll have my total number of samples and my total cash value of all the samples that I used up. So make sure to stick around for more of these if you guys like this and let me know what samples you guys are using up that you would repurchase a full size. I would love to hear about those and anything that you guys recommend that I try, like if there's a sample at Sephora or something that you think I should pick up, let me know because I'm really interested in that and I love samples. They're fun and they use up and they feel good and they add up because using them feels good. So anyways, you guys have a wonderful day or night wherever you are and I will see you in the next one. Bye.